What's good with y'all boys? It's your boy Cam Stay Flat, and I'm here to bring you the best shot shooting build for NBA 2K20. Let's hop right in it. Well, first screen, this is just all like preference stuff, like how you like it for your player. So, you know, put your first, last name, put whatever you want. Position, definitely want to put shooting guard though. This is the most important thing on the screen. As a sharpshooter, you want to be a shooting guard. Hand doesn't matter. I just like right, and jersey number doesn't matter. Um, I just go with um, 13 because my birthday is the number I like the most. Yeah, on to the next screen. Now, for skill breakdown, look for the pies. The fifth pie is the one where the green is flashing. This is the one you need as a sharpshooter. It's the most, um, it's the closest thing to a sharpshooter, a pure sharpshooter, I'd say. So, pick this one right here. Next, pick this first pie. As a sharpshooter, you don't really need to care about strength or vertical. So this pie right here gives you the most speed and acceleration. So pick it right here. Next for your potential. Obviously upgrade all of your shooting so you have the most badge points. Next, I decided to go with defense to max out. So just go ahead and do that. Um, playmaking, I did want my ball handling up. I, I, need, I wanted to be able to dribble on my sharpshooter. I didn't want to be like a spot up shooter. I still move around the court, you know, behind the screen and stuff like that. So you get a 75 ball control, which is pretty good for a sharpshooter. And next you have 67 left, so just sprinkle it on the finishing. Uh, match a close shot, uh, driving layup, and then get a little bit of a dunk too. It's not 40, but it's better than 25. So there you go. You end off with 30 shooting badges or badge points, 9 defensive rebounding badge points. And one finishing and one playmaking match point. Separate. So there you go. Body shape does not matter. As you see, I'm going through all of them. And your attributes or physicals are changing. I just like compact, but do whatever you want. It's a preference right here. Now height. Keep it at 6'5. If you go up 6'6, six, six, look at the left. Your stats decrease dramatically. The only benefit is your interior defense, which doesn't matter on a pure sharp, and your uh, block and offensive rebound goes up. That doesn't really matter, honestly, on the pure sharp. And then if you go 6-4, a lot of your stats increase too, your, de your defense. So it's like, what's the point of making a, a two-way sharp? You know what I'm saying? You're not going to have no defense. So let's give it at 6-5. Nothing changes. Um, pretty solid stat line, as you see on the left. There you go. A nice weight. A pure sharp should always be minimum weight. Um, your lateral quickness, oh, excuse me. Your lateral quickness goes up by three, which is a plus, and your interior defense goes down, which you don't really need at all on a sharp, so this is great. Your strength goes down too, but, you know, sharps are weak anyways, but your acceleration and your vertical go up, so that's a plus. For next for wingspan, I definitely want to keep it at lowest wingspan, so you get a higher mid-range and a higher ball handling too, which is a 78. Uh, your still block goes down, but, I mean, it's still decent at 72 and 66 a piece on a sharpshooter, so that's fine right there. Obviously, if you're making a sharp, you want a spot up shooter takeover. And there you go. You make it exactly how I make it. I'll say you build a sharpshooter. If you get the screen, you made the build correct. Rinse the producer. Now, I'm gonna show you the badges. Uh, playmaking and um, what's the one? Finishing. You can put whatever you want, it doesn't matter. You only get a one bronze badge, so I mean, you know, go crazy with that. But, anyways. For sharpshooting though, you definitely want Catch and Shooter Hall of Fame, Dead Eye Hall of Fame, and Ranger Center Hall of Fame. But most have bad is entirely shooter silver. So now you have 16 left. So for the 16 I have left, I decided to use flexible release. But this badge. You can make straight white take the whole game and be like confident that they'll go in or full whites, even half bars too. Like this is Hall of Fame. So your missed time jump shots as it says at the bottom or your whites as I call it probably drop dramatically more. Very nice. I mean, I'll be able to get my shot down, but I mean, sometimes you know you get a bad release in my lag. I get a full white. This will help out a lot. Also I like this badge too, Green Machine. This is great for you that know your jump shot. If you're able to time your jump shot consistently, you can get more greens, get a higher shot, you get a uh, higher green window, I mean, higher shot percentage. It's a great badge to have for any sharpshooter. Doesn't want that Hall of Fame. So I got eight more. 
I definitely want quick draw. Quick draw is a must. I might drop a bit. Oh, excuse me. Not that bug shooter. No, no, no. Quick draw is a must for sharpshooters or any big, any shooting build at all. Your jump shot is so slow. Without it, you're going to be shooting like Shaq. I might drop a video on that too, explaining why you need quick draw. But definitely need that Hall of Fame. And last, you got four. And then slippery off ball. Um, this is like Dexing from last year or the D pad glitch, if y'all remember that from 19. Definitely want this on your player. As a sharp, you know, you can't really dribble like that. You still get a 75 ball control. But it will be nice to be able to dex. You know, I like to cheese. I'm pretty sure you do like to cheese as well if you're watching the video. So this badge will come in handy for you for the dex. Or dex kind of like 19. Not, it's not going to be the same, but similar. But yeah, these are the badges for sharpshooting. I'm going to go to my defense. So defense, um, definitely wanted, uh, let me go to my notes. Definitely wanted clamps. Intimidator. There's no defensive stopper this year, but but they divided the badges up into they divided defensive stopper into different badges. So I put Intimidator and Clamps. It's only a bronze, but I mean they're both together. I mean, it's just pretty much a silver badge, I guess. But um yeah, this is great for on-ball defense since I'll be guarding the perimeter mostly, so I'll be guarding guards. And then next, I want Interceptor. It's great for passing lane steals. Since you do have short um, arms, this badge really make up for it. And then next, I'll just put Pick Dodger and Pick Pocket. Definitely want Pick Dodger because screens are actually useful this year. They're actually hard hitting. I mean, that's, they're like 17 screens. So you definitely need Pick Dodger, at least silver. So it's uh, at least somewhat effective. And then Pick Pocket, so I'll be going the perimeter. The perimeter. Pick Pocket with Clamps and Intimidator. I mean, not Intimidator, just Clamps. You get a decent amount of steals with this. So yeah, those are the badges right there. And that's the end of my build. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And share with anyone who's making a build this year. Or right now or today. Whenever you're watching the video. But have a good night or day depending on when you're watching the video. And I'll see you in the next video.